Hello, it's Joel. Um, today, I want to go over part of my collection, which I keep in blister pack protectors, and uh, these are all pretty much mail-ins. Um, the stuff that you see right now, these are items that I covered in my previous video, but uh, they all belong to uh, this particular group um, of stuff, so I put them up there in the back. I'm not going to cover those again, but basically, um, this whole box is uh, most, like maybe 98% of the stuff that I keep in blister packs, and these were all mail-ins or convention pieces. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over these. Uh, we'll try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, again, I do this pretty much to uh, document my collection. Okay, so <clears throat> first up in the box... From the Real Rider series, uh, from the Redline Club, is Loom Delivery. Um, recently, I picked up several of these. I really kind of uh, like them. Uh, they got a lot of room on them uh, for tampo and things like that. Uh, limit it to 4,500 pieces, and I got 29 out of 16. 2916 out of 4500. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, Red Line Club rewards car. Um, I did not receive this as a rewards card. I bought this second hand. Uh, I was not a member of the Red Line Club in 2009, but Nomad is one of my favorite castings. Okay. And if you could see that, 49.70 at a 59.72. Kind of an oddball number. Don't know why that is. Don't know if love or know why. Okay, so that was Red Lines Club rewards car. Uh, this was a mailing uh, mystery car. Uh, again, I have to apologize in advance. Uh, I have three dogs in the house, and sometimes they... Uh, they make noise for various reasons. So if you hear any background noise, okay, that's what it is. Um, I collect Chevelles, Chevys of any kind, pretty much. Um, and these mail-ins and special edition ones, these are um, <coughs> um, metal body, metal base, wheel rider tires. Uh, nothing back here on the back, okay, to tell you uh, what number it is, okay. But needless to say, these were mail-ins. This is from 2006. Um, I don't know if this was a Kmart car or anything of that nature. I don't know what um, uh, what the deal was with these. If somebody knows, please let me know. Okay. So that was a mail-in car. <coughs> uh, I also like these panel trucks. Um, the original... Um, First edition or new model when this car came out, the 55 Chevy panel, uh, I never found it on the pegs. So I always had to go in and, and uh, get a second hand. Okay, so again, this is the uh, 2006 Mystery car mail-in. This is another Mystery car mail-in. I picked this up at uh, my club meeting. Uh, I think late last year, uh, maybe in January or February this year. Uh, another mail-in. Um, see what year this is. The last two were 2006. This is a 2005. Okay. So VW Bug, mystery car. Can't beat that. Real rider tires, metal body, metal base. Gotta love it. This is another mystery mail-in. Everybody loves the VW bus, 2006, just like the other two. Okay. Uh, mystery drag bus. Nothing on the back. If you want to stop and pause. Okay. Metal body, metal base, wheel rider tires. Kind of like that one, too. Uh, uh, this says it is a Brazil exclusive. I got this off the Redline Club website. Um, 
40 years of Larry Wood. I don't know if this was sold at the Brazil convention or not. Probably was because it says Brazil exclusive. I got uh, 66, 12 out of 7,000 pieces. Okay. So, kind of like this casting. A okay. This is one of the castings I had in the late 70s as a kid, so I do have the original. Okay. So, I kind of like that one. <clears throat> This is a mailing car um, from the Kmart K-Day um, 2012. I um, did not go to this, so I got this one um, online as well on eBay. Uh, again, I love this casting, the 55 Chevy panel. So um, if I find them affordable in my price range that I'm willing to pay, then I, yeah, I pick them up. But um, I really think this is nice. So I picked that up. That's a KD mail in. More 40 years of design for Larry Wood. Uh, number three of six, Tri Baby. It does not say Brazil exclusive. So I don't know if maybe this was just sold on the Redline Club website um, as. Um, you know, just an exclusive celebrating Larry Wood as opposed to at the convention in Brazil. But 5,016 out of 8,500. Okay. So. <clears throat> Larry Wood. 40 years of design. Kind of similar, but this one down here, right below my thumb, Brazil exclusive. This just says 3 out of 6. Okay, uh, Try Baby. This is a car I have as a red line original. Uh, actually, I think mine is pink, but I love my red line so much that I really, really played with them hard as a kid. And uh, it's kind of beat up, but um, I wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, this is another uh, mail in. This is just a duplicate of one I already have. Okay. Sorry about that. I knocked my uh, camera. All right, so again, duplicate. But you can't beat it. I love the casting. Okay. Let's see if that works. Okay. So no numbers, but I got a duplicate. Neo Classic Series. It's 1970 Chevelle SS. Metal body, metal base. Still. Love this car. I got uh, 65 15 out of 11,000. Nice collar. Really nice. Okay. 40th Hot Wheels anniversary for the 22nd annual collector's convention. Uh, this is one of 3,000 pieces, the Purple Passion. This is um, something I collect, the casting. Okay. Um, it's one of 3,000. There's no individual number on there. If you want to pause on the back of this, read that. So that's the convention car. Here's another convention car, another Chevelle, 1969 Chevelle, 15th annual collector's convention. And they're celebrating the Motor City. I think this one was in. Again, I apologize. I keep hitting the, uh, the camera. I'm trying not to. <laughs>
folks, I try not to hit, but I don't have a really good Again, I apologize for the, uh, the length of the video. Um, 69 Chevelle, I think this was sold at, I think they had a meeting, not a meeting, a uh, convention in, uh, in Detroit. I think this is what this is from. Nope. This is October 14th and 15th, 1999. Maybe more. All right, anyway, um, this is one of 5,000. It's not individually numbered, okay? This is convention car. I did not go to this convention. Uh, somebody was able to get these at my club meeting, okay? And this is from uh, a convention two years ago. Thunder Roller. Two of four. Uh, I did not get all the ones from the convention. Just the ones I liked. So, 834 out of 2600. Loom production number on these if you want to pause on the back. Read that. Convention core. Again, I'm just pulling these from the pile. They're not in any particular order. Uh, convention car from the uh, last year, 31st annual, okay, um, when in shipping, these came off the, uh, the backing, okay, but um, nothing I could do about that, really not a big deal, because the car is in pristine shape, okay, so last year's. So 397 at a 2800. <clears throat> 67 Camaro from the 30th convention. There's wheels too. Metal body, metal base. Okay. Uh, duplicate. Didn't realize it until after I got it in the mail. Duplicate. 3357 out of 10,000. Here's the duplicate. 2639 at a 10,000. Unfortunately, I forget what I buy. I end up buying duplicates of certain things. Um, this one looks like it's got some yellowing to the plastic inside. This one is more clear. All right, so that's why you're seeing something different here. All right. So. <coughs> I know that I bought this on the Redline Club website, Plymouth Roadrunner. So, 1,025 out of 10,000 pieces. And this is from the 21st Annual Collectors Convention in uh, Orange County, California. From 2007, if you want to pause on the back and take a look at that. Still, that's a nice car. That's really nice. I like the Hot Wheels livery on that. And uh, take a look at that. <clears throat> Another Purple Passion. convention series so this is from the nationals in Atlanta Georgia 
Again, I didn't go to these. I got these secondhand. So 96.75 out of 10,000. Sixteenth Annual Collectors Nationals Volkswagen T1 Drag Bus, Indianapolis, Indiana. I think this is from a couple years ago. Last this past year was in Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, this month April was Dallas. Last year's Pittsburgh. I think the previous year was Indianapolis. So uh, 924. Had a 2600. So, Nationals. <clears throat> now, this one right here, the Fat Fender 40, I like this casting. Uh, this is one that I got at a convention. I attended the one and only convention, which was the 30th anniversary of Hot Wheels in 1998. All right. Um, I don't know what these were limited to, it does not say. It doesn't say one of, you know, X, Y, Z, okay, um, but still metal body, metal base, wheel rider tires. Uh, these things even come in protective packs, so I put it in one, okay. So, <laughs> that one I actually bought at a convention. Uh, same with this, the Classic Nomad. Uh, purchased this at the... Uh, Convention in Anaheim, California in 1998. I don't know what it's limited to. I just like the uh, the casting and the body style. Okay. Uh, if you want to pause on that. It's another from the 30th convention because I like the Roger Dodger casting. different than the previous two on the back. <clears throat> Convention series, Nitty Gritty Kitty from the ninth annual Hot Wheels. I guess that's what the HL is. There, yeah, ninth annual collectors nationals. Uh, I don't know where this one was. This was, I think I got this on the Redline Club website. Date extras. So there's my collector number thirty-two hundred three out of seven thousand pieces. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I know for a fact I got this on the website Redline Clubs the convention series. So from the 20th Collector's Convention, pulls on the back, if you want to read that, that was in Orange County, California. That's number 8788 out of 10,000. Another in the Real Rider series, the SS Express, basically this is a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Okay, so that's exactly what this is. Um, spoiler edition, basically. And that's from the 40th. Second annual collector's convention, and it's a lot easier to read on the back. And there's my number 9930 at 10,000, so almost towards the end of the run. Got 
this from the Redline Club website. Convention series, the super van. Looks like it's based on a Dodge van. Collectors Nationals. Metal body, metal base, wheel rider tires. Pretty sure that's based on a Dodge van. Kind of basic, not too way out. It's got the Ghost Hot Wheels Flame logo on there, which is kind of cool. And I do like the colors with the yellow, the white, and the orange. I think that's orange. Okay, and the black and the Ghost Flame. So, really, really liking that one. Again, I apologize. I keep hitting my stand. I know it's taking up time, but I still have half the box to go through. Um, rather than take up time, how about if I just do this? Um, we'll stop right here. I'll see if I can steady my camera instead of keep knocking it. And uh, We'll do a part one and a part two. All right. Um, also, uh, in my previous videos, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm up to 22 subscribers now, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I picked up a couple new ones over the last few weeks. Uh, picked up one young man who is the son of somebody I went to high school with, and I appreciate uh, him subscribing, and I hope he enjoys the videos. Uh, also, uh, if you did subscribe, uh, I hope you do like the videos, and if there's something I can improve on, uh, please let me know. Uh, I know that JG uh, Diecast, JG24 Diecast, um, he asked me to speak up in my videos, and I do know in the video he's referring to, uh, I made it late at night, and I didn't want to wake up anybody else in the house, and that's why my voice was so soft, but I hope I have improved since then. Uh, so that you can hear the videos and everybody else I really appreciate your subscribing and liking the videos so uh, you know please forward them on pass them on um, thumbs up and again if you're going to give me a thumbs down <clears throat> and you have some uh, suggestions please let me know I appreciate it okay so uh, we'll leave this as part one and then we'll do a part two All right. thanks a lot you all have a good day